Well, hello YouTube, this is Baylor Mage again, and we have some very large updates for Poison SRS. Some fantastic upgrades, um, and just updates in general. First of all, for anybody who somehow missed the news, the Leech Node, the new Bone Barrier Leech Node, uh, the way Leech was bugged was not quite the way I thought it was bugged. It turns out the 1% of damage dealt by your minions is leeched to you as life was actually 0.1% of the damage leeched <laughs> as life. So we were getting a tenth of what we were supposed to get, which is also why instant leech felt terrible. It seemed like it wasn't even working. And it's because instead of receiving 30 life per hit, every single time per SRS, we were receiving three or more likely because of rounding issues, one. So we thought Instant Leech just wasn't working at all. Turns out Instant Leech was technically working. It was the actual Leech node that was broken. So with that in mind, whether you're using Instant Leech or not, Leech got way better, way better. It was already strong enough to compete, but it got way better now. So in the background, you can see me blasting out some maps. We've made quite a few changes because of it and because of how much better it's been. This is all still experimental. I'm going to throw this out. This is all still experimental. Everything about this could change. This video is for people who are already familiar and playing or have played it in the past and are familiar and are just interested in what's going on and don't have time to watch 12 hours of stream every day. So this is just an experimental update on what I'm doing. So we're going to jump into the path of building and I'm going to show everybody what's up. Here we are in the path of building. You may notice we still only have about 13 million DPS. That is despite getting an Ulza uprising. Uh, it's not quite the perfect one. The perfect one would be the Envy uprising, but this one showed up quite cheap. So I had to grab it. We also upgraded into the United in Dream, just like we were meant to. Otherwise, most of the rest of our gear isn't upgraded, except this little sneaky thing you might notice, Forbidden Flesh and Flame. Now, I haven't changed off Flesh Offering yet, but I do plan to. On to Bone Offering, get True Block Cap at the same time, same way we used to. The reason we've done that is because this league, I feel incredibly squishy. I don't know about anyone else playing this build, but it feels squishier than it ever have ever felt before, even in the proper setup. That is because the mobs are extremely powerful this time. They're very, very dangerous, and we didn't get given any borrowed power. We as the exiles didn't get an extra ascendancy down here or a bunch of charms or some really overpowered corpses to play with or anything like that. So I'm adjusting. We'll all have to adjust. It's fine. If, if anything, I'm actually excited about it. I think it's quite good, but we're adjusting. Changes have been made. So I've put in Bone Barrier because it was the cheapest set for me at the time, but it means I get all five ascendancy nodes now means i get bone barrier unnatural mindless aggression commander in darkness and mistress of sacrifice if you plan on following along remember you don't have to get the same pair as me any of the four pairs on the outside would do whichever is the cheapest if they're available also keep in mind we're only like three or four days into the league so there may not be very many copies of these available so don't go spending 70 or 80 or 90 or 100 divines on a set you know more will show up don't overpay through the nose is the point here um also there's a good argument to not using mistress of sacrifice now that the leech is so good and we could instead forbidden flesh and flame void beacon and i think that one would be pretty good negative 20 chaos res is huge on its own but also nearby enemies have 100 percent reduced life regeneration is pretty good life regen mobs in this game are pretty op that's a real nice node to have anyway 
moving on from that you can see we've taken out instant leech node again this is absolutely worth four points fantastic but we also made some other changes we gave up our third specter entirely mm, temporarily we might be able to get him back later because for now i had to anoint charisma i anointed charisma because and we'll jump into game to show you this i dropped vitality and instead of vitality we have put on I need more mana. petrified blood so what petrified blood does real quick for anyone who hasn't seen it before when taking damage from hits 40 percent of life lost below half is prevented and then 76 percent of the life loss prevented this way is dealt to you over four seconds it also keeps you on low life the whole time so i still have regen and i still have leech but it will only go up to low life which is half my life now that's a little bit of a confusing sentence to to happen there so to explain that in layman terms right if we get hit for 200 flat damage right 40 percent of it so 80 damage disappears goes away right that that 80 damage then 76 which just for rounding purposes we're going to call 75 you know three quarters 60 of that damage instead of the will be will happen to us over the next four seconds in like a degen so that's going to make us a lot more one shot immune or at least a little more one shot immune it like spreads that damage out that's great because we've got the leech and instant leech to deal with all the degens so we've got that big instant hit the other instant hit protection the other benefit is you only stop real leeching normal leech not the instant leech you only stop leeching when you reach full life we don't reach full life which means as long as we're in combat or we were in combat recently like within the last few seconds uh, we have that full leech cap which is 20 percent of our total life applying to us all the time we're never ever not leeching so that's been really really helpful as well um, that's what I'm playing with right now. There are a ton of options to play with, but that's what I'm playing with right now. In order to drop Vitality, though, and put in Petrified Blood, I needed more RMR than what I had, which meant I've put on Charisma for now in my Anoint. This is not the way I would solve it permanently. The way I would solve it permanently would be getting a very good helmet instead of this one. It's decent, but not fantastic. If I had a very good helmet, it would be worth spending a lot of money on implicits to get like, I think 10 or 12% RMR on the implicit of the helmet with the Eater and Exarch currency. And then that would let me either let me do it on its own or I might need one jewel to give me just the last bit of RMR to fit it in. So that's that's another option that I've been looking at. Um, you may also notice that a lot of my gear hasn't been replaced and the main reason my damage hasn't gone up insanely high uh, most of my ghastly jewels are still pretty average i really haven't replaced a lot of stuff my cluster jewel especially is pretty bad it's only an eight pointer it's got the 35 percent increased effect but then nothing else on it of any note i build aside while i'm very excited about the build and we're doing a lot of stuff league progression or or well more more likely profit for me has been a struggle um mostly because i don't want to go and do sanctum and i think that's the number one money maker right now for this build if i was playing this build i'd be spending 40 50 60 chaos of sanctum and just banging them out and walking out with several divines every single time but i don't want to go do sanctum again so way too interested in the new league stuff um it's way too much fun but i have been having a little bit of a struggle with uh currency so i do have some of the big ticket items so as you can see i have no divines 800c which is okay uh, 
but and i have picked up some of the very big items like the ools and whatnot but it means i haven't had the money to like invest in all the little things where i should be spending like five div here and three div there and five div there and like upgrading all my other things but the priority for me has been experimenting with the build and also dealing with defenses because dying is not fun i haven't enjoyed dying so we're trying to fix that anyway that's where we're up to right now um there are there are tons more options there are tons of things to play around with this leech stuff is op so that is all i have for today and i will see everybody next time hopefully when i found a good money making strat and i can show the proper min max version of this and goodbye